Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a really cool video for you guys. I've got an unboxing of the Radeon RX 570 overclocked 8GB edition by um, Asus ROG Strix. Now here's my old graphics card. It's a GTX 660 2GB. I got this whilst I was building my gaming PC because I'd already spent like over a thousand pounds on it and I didn't realise my CPU didn't even have basic onboard graphics because the last time I built a PC prior to that was when Intel was leading with CPUs and pretty much every Intel CPU had some kind of a basic onboard graphics processing chip. So obviously when I went to AMD Ryzen um, it was a different experience so I was given this graphics card off Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've got it up for sale on there today because uh, I don't need it anymore and I'm going to be unboxing this one here so I'm really excited to use this because I should be able to get anywhere between 70 and 80 frames on Warzone so I can definitely upload videos like that on Rust and um, you know Fortnite and, and games like that and it has a decent amount of VRAM as well which should really really help okay so I'm going to try and do this in the best way possible um, let's get this box open. I believe there's like a thing you cut on the bottom. Get the seal open. Yep. And then, da -da -da. Oh, I need to cut it a little bit more. So it seems. Yep. There we go. I'm really excited for this graphics card. I can't. I can't really explain. Like when I built my gaming PC, I wanted to be able to pretty much run high-end games off the bat, but. I didn't have the money, so it's really good that I've got this now available. Okay, cool. So let me just give you a quick view of inside the box. So this is what I'm looking at at the minute. It's the graphics card in the anti-static bag. And then you're given some kind of, I believe these are just uh, cable ties for, I don't know, whatever reason. Uh, they always include, Rogstrix always include little accessories and random things with their components. Like with my motherboard, I got a key ring um, and a load of random stickers that I'm never going to use. Um, I have been using the key ring, but yeah, cable ties, I'm probably never going to use these, but, you know, they come in handy for, like, other PC builds if I ever decide to do any. So do I literally just lift this out, and then that's, that's the graphics card, right? Yeah, that's legit the graphics card. There's something else in here as well. Uh, what is this? What does this do? Are these just stickers? Are these just, like, random, random stickers? Um, perhaps these are for um, kind of retention support. So, for example, if if the graphics card is going to sag, uh, it should you, know, you can apparently maybe use these to sort of have some sag support so that you can hold the graphics card in place. But I don't know why you've got these little. They kind of just look like I don't know stickers, random random stickers. I'm not really sure uh, what they're for. Um, but you get given those anyway, so there's them, and then obviously there's the graphics card. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get this out of the packaging and then show you the graphics card. Okay, so I've now got the graphics card here, it looks very nice. First thing I'm noticing is that they have these weird little caps that are on the ports. I don't know why, how do you even get those off? Like, uh, how, why do they include those? Do you just pull them off? I don't want to be too harsh with it, and then like, uh, th there's some weird little caps, so I'm going to try and get those off. Okay, so I've managed to get the caps off, I basically just had to kind of tweeze them away. Um, they were quite stiff to get off to be fair, but I've got those off. It looks like this graphics card has two DVI ports, HDMI and a display port, which is quite decent. I mean, I'm pretty sure that every single monitor, um, th there are a few that don't, but I'm pretty sure every single monitor either has a HDMI and a display port, or the H. Uh, or a HDMI and a DVI port. Some will have a VGA and a HDMI, which will mean obviously getting a converter for the DVI to VGA. However, like you know, it's it's a decent amount of ports. You know, I would I would say that most graphics cards now actually have like three Display Ports and one HDMI, or two Display Port, two HDMI. Uh, so it's it's quite strange to see do two DPI ports, but. This is kind of, uh, so, sorry, two DVI ports. This is kind of what I'm used to seeing because of, the, you know, t the last time I built a gaming PC um, other than now. Um, but yeah, decent amount of ports. Um, there looks to be some kind of a sticky cellophane type thing, so I'm going to try and get that off now. Um, it's kind of difficult to do one-handed, to be fair. Um, just going to try get it off. I figured you could do it all in one piece, but apparently not. Um, so there's a... Man, this this shit. Why did they even put this on here? Like, 
I feel like it would be better if they didn't put this on here because then like you know it's not as if it's really gonna get damaged they packed it pretty well to be fair so like I can't I couldn't see it getting damaged um, during transport this is fine it's fine it's fine Okay, I'm just trying to take it off as carefully as I can <laughs> so that I don't actually mess anything up. Okay, that's fine. And then do you have like an individual thing on here? I'm pretty sure you have like an individual cellophane thing on here as well. I'm oh no, sorry, on this logo. I'm gonna try to get that off. Okay, so I've now got that uh, cellophane off the logo there, so you can see it's now more of a matte, a matte shiny uh, finish. Um, so that's okay. And now I guess it's time to install the graphics card and uh, run some tests and kind of see what frames per second we can get with this graphics card. So I have now got the graphics card installed in the PC. Um, I just need to put the rear I.O. shield back on uh, to this side of the case. Um, but otherwise I've got the graphics card installed, the PCIe connectors on. Um, and so now I just need to put back on um, this uh, part of the IO shield and then I need to go ahead and um, I need to go ahead and turn on the PC obviously and uh, run some benchmarks and we'll see if the graphics card is any good. So I've just switched on the PC for the first time with the graphics card and it looks like it's lighting up. Uh, I can see a red LED coming from it. Um, and I can see my display signal is coming through so hopefully we get into Windows okay and then I just need to install drivers and we can go ahead and test it in games but I mean so far it seems to be sort of lighting up and yeah the graphics card has posted and we should be able to get into Windows um, so I'm now just going through and um, installing all of the uh, drivers and software that are needed something that i'm already noticing with this graphics card is that the windows taskbar actually looks a lot darker i don't know why perhaps the old graphics card couldn't handle some of the effects windows has but this used to be a lot lighter the taskbar so here we go uh, downloaded recommended uh i'm just gonna yeah let's just do the recommended software like honestly i've got no idea um, and I'll just reboot after all these drivers are installed. I've, I've got them sitting on my desktop here. Um, so there we go. What? Time. Okay, that's more like... It's going between 56 minutes and 9 minutes. Okay. Um, it's quite strange. So that is the first one we're doing here. This, uh, whatever that is. And then we'll do these two. And then uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So I've now installed all of the necessary drivers and I'm just restarting the PC. I'm really excited to see what this graphics card um, can do in terms of performance. I've seen YouTube videos where it's got like 300 frames per second in Minecraft, um, where it's handled Warzone pretty well on like ultra settings. Um, so it should be really interesting. And yeah, I mean, it's not a bad looking graphics card for, um, I think it was like 150 pounds. So it's not bad. I'll probably vertically mount this graphics card at some point because I would like to see the fans at the bottom um, because the PCB isn't the prettiest looking but at least it's not blue which the black uh, the previous one was. This one is a black uh, PCB so it looks slightly better. Okay so now that I'm back into the PC I'm presented with this software uh, by Rogstrix um, and the only thing I'm really going to be doing with this is it allows you to change the profile of the graphics card so you click this button and it allows you to go into the overclocked mode. So straight out of the box, you get 1310 megahertz. I believe it can go slightly above, slightly below. Um, and you can see your VRAM usage and your GPU temps. Or you could click gaming mode, and that will apply a preset GPU core frequency to enjoy a most balanced gaming performance. So it goes slightly below 1310. Um, and yeah. But I want to go in the overclock mode because I want it to be as fast as possible because we like the speed around here. Um, but we're going to see if it's uh, stable or not. And you also get this little graph here where you can see your GPU clock, memory clock and the temps all in one little screen. But yeah, um, when you close this app, I'm pretty sure it goes down to the system tray and it will probably just start at launch. Um, it allows you just to mess around with your GPU settings. And you can also press this gaming boost button, which will basically just close all your like antivirus and your system software that you don't necessarily need to have open when you're playing a video game. Um, but yeah. 
quite nice. So, for some reason, <laughs> this screen has just come up saying your device has ran into an error and needs to restart. Um, so my PC is doing just that. I'm hoping there aren't any issues with this graphics card, but if needed, I've still got the old one if I need to somehow, you know, mess around. But it seems to be restarting. The graphics is being, dis you know, displayed on screen. But yeah, I don't know. Random problem? <laughs> okay, so I seem to be back into the system. Um, what I've noticed is that my NTXT cam software, which is used to control all my lighting, it isn't actually showing the graphics card. It says no supported GPUs were found. But with the GTX 660, it shows up and I'm allowed, you know, I can track the temperature and everything. And I prefer to use NCST cam. But it looks like I might just have to use, um, oh man, what's this? OneDrive isn't connected? I don't know. Um, it looks like I may have to potentially just use um, the Asus GPU tweak software. Um, because I believe, um, wherever that is. Yeah, I can track the temperature and everything from here. However, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why it says no supported graphics cards were found. That's pretty, pretty weird. And also, I don't know why it says 20 megahertz. <laughs> okay, so after playing around with the RX 70 software, there was a setting that said overclocking range enhancement. I thought I'd just tick it because I assume it meant it would, it would apply overclock by default on launch. I did. But then my GPU wouldn't show up. Now my GPU is showing up in the NZXT cam software, which is quite strange. What does this setting even do? Does it say? Um, okay. Um, it allows you to con have more of a control over the core um, and memory frequency, which is okay, fine, fair enough. Um, but now we're back up to 1310 megahertz and um, the GPU is showing up in the NZXT cam. So that's okay. And it shows, um, uh, this shows us it having a 2% load, that says 0%. So it's 31 temp, that says 31, so that's fine. Uh, but for some reason this says 300 megahertz clock and this says 13 te 10 megahertz. So I don't know, I don't know. Who do I trust? <laughs> So I just wanted to quickly test what it would be like to play some games. So I'm going to add and create a new Minecraft world and we're going to see what kind of frame rate we can get. Keep it in mind, at best I got 60 frames per second with the old graphics card, which was a 2 gigabyte GTX 660. We'll see if we can get any more than 60 frames per second. And then I was getting anywhere between 20 and 30 frames per second on Minecraft. So we will see what kind of frame rate uh, we can get uh, using shaders sorry uh, with Minecraft but obviously using shaders I only got 20 to 30 frames so we'll see what kind of frame rate I can get with the shaders on as well so let's just call this GPU dash test um, and yeah let's just create the world it really doesn't matter um, let's create the world okay and we can also edit some of our settings as well and see what kind of speeds we can get we'll see I mean, that seems pretty quick. Okay. I'm only getting 50 frames per second for some reason. I have no idea why. I'm only getting 40 frames per second. Like, the, the graphics actually looks a little bit better, in my opinion. But, for some reason, I'm only getting 46 frames. Has, has the video settings been edited? Uh, graphics fast, minimum, V-Sync, I don't know what that does, bright, render distance, let's just change that to, I don't know, 20 chunks, frame rate, unlimited, what if I change that to 200 frames, what would that do? I'm now getting 70 frames, uh, okay, it's interesting, unlimited, Oh, I'm getting 70 frames now. Uh, okay, it's interesting. I've gone up to 60. Uh, I've, I did get 70 frames at one point. Um, I don't know. And now I'm getting 84 frames, 85, uh, 90 frames. But when I'm moving around, I'm only getting 60 frames. That's... 
I mean, my other graphics card was a solid 60. Oh, now I'm on 100 frames. Uh, but I'm not really moving around. Uh, so let's see. Full screen res, a biome blend, 5x5 normal. Um, clouds, fast particles, all. I mean, what does mini, what does mitmap levels do? I don't know what mitmap levels does. I'm not really sure what mitmap levels does. Let's find out. Uh, what does mitmap levels do in Minecraft? I'm just googling it so I can find out. I don't really know. Uh, okay, so I guess I don't know what the default value is, but let's just change it. Let's just change them to off. I don't really know what it does, so let's just change it to off. And see what we can do. So now I'm getting 100 frames, 80 frames, 70 frames. And yeah, if I stand still, 112. What if I go into, I'll open it to LAN and put cheats on. And then I'll change it to creative mode. Uh, let's move that out of the way for a while. Uh, okay, I seem to have spawned on some kind of a weird little island here. Um, I'm getting, yeah, 60 frames, 54 frames. Just see, what if I increase the, the render distance? I don't know, let's put it to unlimited, let's just put it to 32 chunks. 36. Okay. I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure why I'm only getting this frame rate. It's quite disappointing to be fair, I mean this is worse than my other graphics card. Let's change the render distance back down to like, I don't know, 15 chunks. Graphics is on fast. Don't know what V-Sync does, but we'll just turn it on. Particles all. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man, why we're getting this uh, frame rate. Mitmap level. I'm just going to find out the default mitmap level in Minecraft, see if that affects things. Um, okay, so the default mitmap level is apparently 4. So I'm just going to change it to 4. And put done. See what that does. Oh. Oh. Uh, Minecraft has, has crashed. <laughs> okay, so I've run into a problem. I crashed whilst playing Minecraft. And obviously my frame rate wasn't what I was expecting. And now my PC seems to be crashing constantly. It keeps crashing, showing like pixelated effects. Oh, man. Um... And then it, it just crashes and then reboots and then the screen like goes purple and then it crashes. And I think purely it's probably just a driver problem. But I installed the latest drivers from the website and so I don't know what else it could be. Perhaps I need a motherboard update. But honestly, like I need this sorting before somebody comes to pick up my old graphics card. Otherwise, I'm basically fucked without a PC. So hopefully that I managed to fix this. So I have no idea what's happening, but it's just done it again. It's showing a blue screen, and then the PC is is just completely crashing. I don't I don't really know what to do at this point. So I've switched off the PC at the mains, and I'm now just gonna turn it back on again. Um, and I'm hoping that this time Windows will actually launch. Um, I have no idea why it's not working. It just keeps showing blue screens and crashing. And a guy is coming for my new graphics card at two, uh, my old graphics card at two p.m. So that gives me like a couple of hours to get this working. I think it's either I've overclocked it too much, or it's unstable, or there's a driver problem, or you know it's got to be something software related. But I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's get logged into Windows to see what happens. Um. I mean, it's obviously posting because it's displaying graphics, but there's some sort of an issue. I don't know, I don't know, um, task manager, task manager, man, why, <laughs> I don't, if this video ever gets uploaded, then, yeah, but, man, no idea, so, yeah, I can't seem to get into Windows, it just constantly keeps crashing, showing blue screens, going off, coming on, doing the same thing in a boot loop, so, what I'm gonna have to do is put in my old graphics card, um, try get into Windows, uninstall the drivers for this graphics card, and then reinstall the drivers and the software. Um, because with this graphics card, it's just it's booting, but then it's going off, and I don't know why. Or I could potentially try and restore Windows. Uh, troubleshoot. Uh, 
I can reset the PC and remove all the software or I can do a system restore point so let's try your system restore see what happens um, because it's something to do with the software I have a gut feeling so this was the I don't know the first of the second uh, I don't know I'm gonna see I'm gonna see so I'm just going to um, do this I think scan for affected programs Yep, so the affected programs are these, which are the AMD ones. What I'm going to do is just delete the software by doing a restore. Um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to do a system restore. And then hopefully it gets rid of the GPU software and I can go from there and reinstall the GPU software and just try and get the correct settings because that seemed really unstable like crashing windows and minecraft was getting 35 60 frames it was going up but only when i was standing still and i saw a guy like with the exact same graphics card flying around in minecraft getting like 300 frames a second so you know uh, it makes no sense that with this graphics card i'm getting those frame rates but with my old one i was getting a solid 60 and it never really dropped so don't know something's obviously going wrong with the drivers or the software so let's see if this uh, does the trick i tried to do the system restore and it says it couldn't do it because there was some sort of a dropbox file that couldn't be replaced and um, but that's in my d drive which isn't my main hard drive so what i might try to do is unplug my d drive and uh just have the main system hard drive there and see if that works so I've unplugged both of my spare hard drives and I've just got the M2 SSD uh, being input into the build now so hopefully there shouldn't be any error stopping me from restoring that one um, storage device. So I'm going to boot up the PC. Um, we're going to try get into Windows and do the restore and see what happens. Just move my headset out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is a tricky operation. I didn't expect to have any problems. I thought I'd just plug it in. Oh, the system has posted in safe mode. This may be due to the previous post attempt failing because of system instability. Or if the power button was held to force the system off. Oh. Shit, okay. I don't... Uh... Okay. Have I just fucked my M2 SSD? Man, what is going on? I'm just going to set that to all over now. I have no idea. Is this going to boot into Windows or what? The heck is going on, man? This graphics card is causing me so many problems. I really hope this boots. There's no Windows loading. Oh, yeah, there is. God, man. Don't know. Okay, so Windows has shown up, so the hard drive isn't fucked. Just going to log in. Are we going to crash, or what's, what's going to happen? Okay, please don't crash, please don't crash. I've not crashed I've not crashed yet that software that software is opened and I've not crashed maybe it was just a random crash but honestly that's crazy I've never been stuck in a boot loop like that honestly I thought I'd fucked my entire system my GPU is being detected that's fine okay that's really interesting and I'm not on overclock mode or gaming mode so it's just literally as is I've not messed with any of these now that seems to have reset 
when I've messed with the BIOS, it seems to have reset the GPU. So there we go. I'm not gonna, I'm not even going to mess with any of these, and I'm going to see what happens uh, now. Okay, so we're now back into Windows. Um, I went back into the BIOS and I changed my RAM settings back to DOCP and I managed to get from 3200 to 3400, so a little bit more of a push uh, from the RAM. Previously, for some reason, I couldn't get up to that and it did crash. Uh, so that was obviously not GPU related, it was uh, RAM related, but it seems to be okay at the minute, so we'll see. But either way, we're you know, having random crashes from the graphics card anyway, so... You know, whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so let's just go ahead and test Minecraft again. So we'll create another w new world and we'll call it uh, GPU Test 2. And we will turn on cheats just so we can test creative mode. Um, and let's just let's just go ahead and see. I mean, I don't know. I'm not expecting the best frame rate based on what happened before. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. This graphics card seems a bit, a little bit, you know, it seems like one of those, a little bit, a little bit strange. So at the minute I'm getting 40, 49 frames, which is less than my other graphics card. Um, on fast, like they are literally all on the minimum settings, performance, like fast render, like all these things are on. Oh, have I crashed again? Is this my Windows or is this just Minecraft? What's happened? Oh, for some reason I've uh, I've cr uh, oh man, what's happened? Okay, so I'm trying this again for um I don't know the number of times that I've tried to get this graphics card to properly work and not crash, <laughs> but I'm trying this again. Um, so we're in Minecraft and. Um, I've set the max frame rate, unlimited render distance the same. It's all on minimum settings, basically. Like even animations, like I can even turn animations off. Um, dynamic lights, fast quality, like you know what I mean. It's all minimum. Let's see. So I'm now right. So I'm now getting 177 frames, 190 frames, 186, 208. Let's. What happens if I go? Can I go to creative? Right, so when I go into creative mode and I fly for now I'm getting 150 frames, 170, 160. So this is what this is what I was looking forward to. I'm now getting the correct frame rate that I wanted. Um what are my MIP map levels like? Uh MIP map levels, I don't even know where's that even gone? Video settings. MIP map levels, where the hell has that gone? MIP map levels has disappeared. Where the heck is it? Options, video settings. Where is it? Mip map levels has completely gone. Oh wait, now it's in quality settings. Mip map levels maximum. Okay. Let's put animations back on. See what difference that makes. It's 170, 130 frames. That's still very decent. Um, okay. That's fine. Video settings. Let's change the graphics to fancy. Let's see what that does. I'm now getting 196, 150, so that's still pretty good, in my opinion. Let's change the render distance to, like, 20, 25. Oh, it's too much, too much. So let's change it to 25 chunks. I'm still getting 140, 100 frames. 93, 120. So that is still bet, pretty playable. That's still pretty playable, but I think I'd probably have it sit around 20 chunks. Um... Okay, 20, stop, okay, um, so graphics, let's play fancy, smooth lighting, maximum, let's put uh, dynamic lights, uh, fancy as well, so we're getting 70 frames, 80 frames, yeah, okay, 90 frames, so let's, dynamic lights doesn't really do anything for me, so I'll do that, smooth lighting, I'll just put that on minimum, again, doesn't really make a difference, shaders, uh, let's test some shaders in a second. All the animations are on. Performance, uh, they're on. Render regions, I'm not really sure what that does. But let's just turn it on. Smart animations, just turn it on. Chunk updates. Uh, 
Okay, lazy chunk. Okay, let's see what performance is like. 172 frames, 160 frames. One. Uh, this is still pretty good. I'm getting some decent performance now, and I've not crashed yet. Uh, I'm going like pretty quick around the map, and I'm getting you know 145 frames, 162. It seems to be more stable now, you know, that I'm not seeming to be getting any issues. I'm getting it on average 150 frames. Oh, and I've just found one of these things again. Nice. Flint and steel, glistering melon slice. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that now. So, I tell you what, let's go and take this one step further and let's try and use some shaders. So, I'm going to I'm going to try use a shader pack. I'm going to use Zeus and see what happens. Um Let's see if I can get like 60 frames minimum. Oh, oh, Minecraft has crashed. Oh man, Minecraft crashed. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it was a little bit, a little bit dicey, but I managed to launch into Minecraft. Um, I've got the shaders on. I've got um, at present fast graphics, uh, fancy dynamic lights, um, and maximum smooth lighting. And I'm getting on average between 50 and 60 frames per second with a lower 40 frames. Um, which is, I mean, to be fair, um, I was getting anywhere between 20 and 30 frames. So I'm still getting double that with this graphics card with shaders. So it's a lot more playable. Plus there's more VRAM so I can actually record uh, when the graphics card is being stable. Um, yeah, I don't know though. I think for now I'll, I'll just continue to probably play without. But let's see what happens when I put it onto fancy. How does that affect it? Okay, so I'm getting four, 48, 45 to 55 frames. Um, yeah, I mean it is playable. It's definitely playable. Um, and I'm, rec I'm, I'm recording as well and it seems pretty stable so far. Minus the random crashes. But yeah, that seems it seems okay to, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, and so without the shaders, I'm getting anywhere between 180 to 250 frames. Um, so it's quite decent. It's a lot better than the other graphics cards on, like, you know. And I am on, to be fair, without shaders, I'm on fancy, fancy settings, smooth lighting maximum. And I'm like, you know, I'm doing quite well. What happens if I put smooth lighting 100%? Okay, so I'm still getting like a decent frame rate, 170. Like it's decent, it is decent to be fair. Okay, so this is the game that we've all been waiting for, Call of Duty Warzone. Now I'm in the game and um, by default I've been thrown in with high settings. Some are set to normal but a lot are set to high. Map that's set to extra. This has all been done automatically when I've clicked on. It's just said press this button to optimize your game, and so I have. And I'm using five gigs of VRAM, and it's uh, you know still got like a decent amount of VRAM left for recording and things like that, and stuff I want to do in the background of playing a game. And um, yeah, if this performs well and it doesn't crash, then I'm going to be properly impressed. Um, so let's go ahead and see and just start into a game. Yes, my name is Boris J UK Gov. It was just a silly idea that I had when I was signing up to Activision. I thought it'd be quite funny. And people always chase me in Warzone and they say, Hey Boris! Because um, I normally play on PlayStation. But yeah, let's give it a go. PC Gaming Warzone. I'm hoping I don't crash because if I crash, it's going to make me really sad. I literally bought this graphics card just to play Warzone because my other one couldn't handle it. Uh, can I close this? Yeah, so play. Uh, plunder, blood money. Yeah, let's play plunder. I mean, so far it looks pretty decent. I don't know. Hopefully we can play this game and we can do some videos. And um, Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Cool. What I'll probably do is I'll download Fraps actually, and I'll probably include the frame rate like overlaid on on the video. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and actually do that. Okay, so I believe I've actually now uh, basically I couldn't use Fraps because it seemed really like difficult to use. I tried pressing all the shortcut keys and I couldn't get the frames per second to display. So instead, we ha now have a frames per second counter which is in the top left of the game. Uh, so you can see the frames per second there, and we're gonna we're gonna start off in the game and see what frames we get. It's in the top left, um, really small writing, so just keep an eye on that. 
Um, at the minute it says 63 frames, uh, but we're not even in the game yet, so we'll see. Um, apparently you can get anywhere up to 100 and 150 frames in this, exactly like you can in uh, Minecraft. So we should see, and then um, see what it's like. And um, yeah, it should be cool, but we are on high settings at the minute, so I think it's like literally we're on ultra, the maximum settings that we can get. Um, but if we turn down the settings, we should be able to get more of a frame rate. So we will see. We will see. Cool. So we are now in Warzone. And oh, we're getting killed. We're getting killed. Okay. Uh, as you can see, in the top left, we are getting anywhere between 75 frames and 85 frames. I think I also hit 90 a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, it's around 80 frames, sort of stable it's definitely 75 uh, minimum and we're going all the way up to like 85 90 frames so what happens if I turn down the setting slightly so let's uh, let's take it from uh, high to like normal let's just change it all to normal settings particle quality high change that to normal um, anything that has a normal setting we'll just put normal uh, I'll change that to high. Play time's over, mate. You're going a. to the war zone. I don't know what SMAA really does. I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea what that does. That's on high, normal, high. Let's change it, change it all to normal Just settings. Simple. Secure more cash than the enemy. Okay, and we'll see what frame rate right, we can soldier. get. Alright, soldier. Mark a drop point for your team. Yeah, so at the minute I'm getting 95 frames. 85 to 95. So it's like a 10, a 10 frames per second difference to go on the normal settings. Um, so yeah, let's just go down here and see what we're getting when we're walking around. Just walk around and see what frame rate we can get. <coughs> so I'm getting anywhere between 85 and 90 frames on normal. Um, but the quality doesn't look that great. So I'm going to change it all. So high, high. Um, anything that says normal, I'll just change it to high. Uh, and see what happens. I don't know what SMAAA does. I have no idea. Normal. Uh, okay, high, high, high. I have no idea what that does, but what if I turn it all the way up? Uh, no idea what that does. So now my frame has dropped quite a bit. I'm on like 60 frames per second uh, to 70 frames per second. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. But I think it's this setting here that's messing with us. So let's change it to all times one again. So yeah, so now I'm getting 75 to 85 frames, which is decent. Uh, but then what happens if we just turn that off? So let's just disable it all together. Now I'm getting uh, 65 to 75. So actually, let's go ahead and leave that on to times one. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm getting on average between 75 and 85 frames per second. Uh, as you can see in the top left, it's sticking around 75, 80 frames. The quality looks fairly decent. I mean, it's a lot better than my other graphics card, that's for sure. Um, so it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. For some reason, there's this pixelated effect on crates. I don't know why. But, I mean, yeah, the quality looks fairly decent. I'm getting 75 to 85 frames. Um, yeah, I'm... To be honest with you, I'm fairly impressed. I'm fairly impressed with this. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with this graphics card for Warzone. So I thought I would also quickly throw in a Fortnite test. Um, I don't really, I've not really played this game heavily. I don't really understand it, but we're gonna give it a go. Um, so let's play and see what kind of frame rate that we get. Um, hopefully we get kind of a fairly decent frame rate. Uh, we should do. I reckon we'll get like 80 frames, 70 frames, potentially on like medium settings. But we'll see. We'll see. 
Um, I thought I'd include this because a lot of people play Fortnite and it's popular with kids nowadays. So, you know, if, if you're a parent buying a graphics card or building a PC for a child, then you may want to know how this game performs with this specific graphics card. Because, I mean, to be fair, for the price and performance, it's, you know, it's fairly good. It was like 150, 170 pound. And for the frame rate and, you know, stuff that you can get, it's fairly decent, um, you know, for the price. Um, it's not going to handle games like Steampunk at all, but, um, you know, um, it's not bad. And when it works, it works. And, you know, the random crashes aren't great, but, um, yeah. So let's get straight into this. Are we, are we going to, are we going to start now? Is this how you start the game? I've pressed join and it's, it's not really doing anything as of yet. So I don't, I don't really know what, uh, what to do here. <laughs> Cool, so I think we're now getting into it. Um, I think I've joined like some kind of a game or a server or something like that. So we'll see what the frame rates are. Um, I've ticked up... Oh, wait, okay. So right off the bat, if you look in the top right of the screen, we're getting anywhere between 89 and 93 frames per second. I'd say, yeah, sometimes up to 100. It's quite decent. The graphics don't look bad in this game, to be fair. Uh, what do you do? Do you just like chop chop things up? Is that basically what you do in this game? Is it like Minecraft kind of? Would you like to see me play this game on on this channel? If so, let me know. That music's annoying. Music's really annoying. So here we go. We're getting okay anywhere between seventy and eighty-five frames at the minute. Yeah, so it says here a high of 96 frames, low of 44, and the top right of the screen. Uh, yeah, high of 100 frames, low of 49. It seems fairly decent to be fair in terms of performance. Um, I haven't had any more crashes or anything since before, so yeah. Um, 75 to 100 frames is what I'm getting in, uh, in Fortnite, so this is fairly decent. Um, I don't know what these things are, but... Yeah, don't know what they are, what they do. I don't know what that does. I'm not really sure how you play this game, but yeah, we're getting 70 to 100 frames, which is decent. How do you run? I don't know how you run. Uh, okay, cool. I've got a gun. I don't know, what, what is that? A fishing rod. A rare fishing rod. Okay. It's quite cool. So can you go fishing? Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got a slugger fish. Okay. <laughs> That's quite cool. I mean, yeah, you can see we're getting a high of 90 frames, low of 70. Uh, we even hit 100 at some point. So we're doing fairly good, to be fair. Let's pick up these. Yeah, would you like to see me playing this uh, on this channel more? Um, you know, would you like to see me play Fortnite and Warzone and games like that? like to see me play these kinds of games. Okay. Some guy's just been shot. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him. This guy's probably going to shoot me from up there. Let's see, let's see. Just jump up here. There was a guy. Okay, I've taken all of his shit. I've taken his gold. There's a guy in here somewhere, but I don't really know where. Where you gone, lad? Here we go. I've got him. I've got all his shit. I've got all his shit. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I've never really played this game before. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, man. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um... <laughs> Okay, well, I've got, I've just stole a load, a load of shit off some guy and I'm getting 100 frames, uh, like, hot max, so it's quite good to be fair. No! Oh, okay, it's fine. Quite good to be fair, so I'm just going to leave the match. So I'm getting a high of 100 frames and a low of 75, so it's really, really decent in Fortnite, for sure. 
So I've got no idea why I was getting all those kind of random crashes and things at the start there um, when you know Minecraft was crashing the whole system it was obviously down to the graphics card I think what may, may potentially have happened is I either pressed like the wrong button and I tried to get too much performance out of the graphics card it seems to be doing fairly well now um, so I'm not really going to mess with it um, perhaps my RAM was clocked too high and I had to reset something like honestly I've got no idea but it seems to be working okay now um, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, in my opinion the RX 570 the ROG Strix version specifically there are like Nvidia G, you know um, versions of these cards in my, opinion, in my opinion this graphics card is pretty decent but if you can get it to work because for literally an hour two hours of this graphics card being in I was just crashing going into boot loops you know I had to keep playing around with settings and eventually it seemed kind of stable but there probably are other graphics cards you can get that are better um, and at the minute um, this is just a temporary graphics card to sort of allow me to play Warzone, stream games, record games that I you know want to share with you guys um, and uh, hopefully six months down the line when stocks and things like that go back to normal I can get my hands on a RTX 3060 and then I can play games like Steampunk uh, without fail but with this card in all fairness I can play games like Fortnite, Warzone, Rust games that I couldn't previously record for you guys I could play them but I couldn't record them because there wasn't enough VRAM so this graphics card is definitely a step up um, it's a little bit fiddly I wouldn't say it's plug and play um, you know when you get the drivers installed you have to mess around with settings to tailor it to your system and you know if you do like one thing slightly incorrect it will just crash and um, at one point I thought I'd messed up my SSD and I'd lost my whole you know whole system um, so I don't know um, yeah I don't know let me know what you thought of this video I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one